Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a common challenge faced by developers working with DynamoDB. Our viewer is trying to update an item using an update expression, but they're running into a syntax error when attempting to set one attribute and delete another. Let's dive into their question and see how we can help. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll go through your question, go through the answers for it, and hopefully that brings you to your solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy to get to that solution just like me. And let's get started. To update an item in DynamoDB, while both setting a new attribute and deleting an existing one, we need to structure our update expression correctly. The error you encountered indicates a syntax issue in your update expression. In DynamoDB, you cannot combine set and delete in the same expression directly. Instead, you should separate the actions using a comma. Here's how you can rewrite your update expression. Now, let's look at the complete code snippet with the corrected update expression. By following this structure, you can successfully update and delete attributes in a single operation. Remember to always check your syntax to avoid errors. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In this example, the user demonstrates how to set and delete attributes in DynamoDB using a single update expression. They utilize CakePHP and MarshallJSON to manage data effectively. First, they create a key using the marshaller with field one. Then they check if criteria one is null to determine how to structure the add variable. Next, they define the expression attribute values and names for the update operation. The update expression combines set and add e to modify the DynamoDB item. Finally, the function returns the parameters needed for the DynamoDB update, including the table name and return values. And that's it, guys. I hope we found the solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. <laughs>